This short film was created in response to the government's proposed reforms to the education system of England and Wales, specifically the exclusion of art and design from the key performance measures. The changes outlined by the Secretary of State for Education, Michael Gove, in the 2010 white paper The Importance of Teaching received a great deal of media attention and criticism from a wide range of successful British people and organisations, from creative designers to sports stars and the Confederation of British Industry to teachers themselves. Worries focused around the pressure that we put on students to study the few subjects represented in the new performance measures of which art design is not a member rather than study what they are best at. Schools may then direct resources towards teaching the subjects that make up new performance measures at the expense of providing a quality education in the creative arts. This film explores what design means as a concept and as part of that education system. A key component of the proposed reforms the English Baccalaureate Performance Measure was introduced in the 2010 school performance tables, expressed as a percentage of students who obtained an A star to C grade in English, Mathematics, the Humanities, History of Geography, the Sciences and a foreign language, Modern or Classical. After criticism from industry concerning the exclusion of computer science as a qualifying subject, this was added to the available options for the science requirement from 2014. Further, more radical reforms were proposed in September of 2012, the Secretary of State for Education expressing the aim to move away from the competition between exam boards for the subjects included in the English Baccalaureate and towards a single awarding authority for these subjects in a new qualification, the English Baccalaureate Certificate or EBC. I'm in my final year of primary education at the University of the West of England. I've worked in a range of primary schools in both Key Stage 1 and 2. Last year I was in a Key Stage 1 class for eight weeks. Within this period of time I only saw one art lesson being taught. Angry at the suggestion that art was not to be considered a key subject in a student's education, members of the creative industries set up petitions aiming to convince the government to reconsider. Many wanted a sixth pillar added to the English Baccalaureate measure to be met by requiring students to take one creative subject. These industries, advertising and architecture, fashion and film, make up one of the fastest growing sectors of the British economy and are internationally recognised as some of the world's best. Susan Anderson, Director of Education and Skills at the CBI, said in support of a sixth pillar that companies expect a more detailed knowledge of IT and benefit from people with broader creative skills, so the government must adapt to the curriculum to meet these needs. Grace and Perry, among the artists and designers, worried about the impact of excluding creative subjects from the core qualification at 16, expressed concern that the positive impact art education had on his life and career would be missed by the younger generation. This term has been split into two, being healthy and glorious food. Within this term, no art lessons have been offered for the children. In several lessons I've taught, I've asked the children to incorporate art into the subject. Over half the children seem unenthusiastic. I believe this is because of the lack of experience that is offered in primary education within the arts. It can be said that some children that are considered less academic within maths and English can shine within the arts. However, I feel the lack of experience and opportunities offered within primary education, including limited resources, Children are less likely to choose this option when they go into secondary school. As a result of the intense scrutiny by a great number of sectors in education and industry, and the publishing of a highly critical report by the Education Select Committee within Parliament itself, Michael Gove announced a U-turn in policy. The plans to have a single body draw up curricula for a new EBC qualification were scrapped, with Gove describing them as a bridge too far and one reform too many. This is a great success for the creative industries and all those involved in supporting the various petitions, but the place the creative arts currently hold in our education system remains under threat. The English Baccalaureate performance measure is still in use and has already been shown to have had a great impact on schools with the greatest number of students in receipt of free school meals. That is those least likely to have the opportunity to engage in the creative arts outside of school. Despite that, with this success and the inclusion of computer science in the measure, there is a precedent for campaigns to result in changes to the proposed reforms. 
With such broad support in industry for the inclusion of creative subjects and the government's recent support for another measure that does include this in assessment of schools, there is real hope that the creative arts can regain their place as equals among the subjects taught in our education system.